Hello, so this is the box that I made, and here's a couple of them in sample, and then what we're going to do is just click on use templates so then you can start using it. So once you've logged in, you can see through here that there's a couple that outline, um, which you can just overlay on top of any sort of canvas board. This fits for an 8.5 by 11, so a regular sheet of paper. And we'll use this one as an example. So I'm just going to shift aside the line art for it. The line art will snap over on top, which is fine. And you can change the color um, for the frame, or um, you can use a photo. So I'll just wait for it to populate. We'll look for a Christmas one. Yeah, Christmas pattern and just like it'll be placed onto there um, you can upscale it or change it however else you like to uh, usually um, yeah well we'll try this one so you can also just overlay your patterns if you're not gonna have it snap like a photo does and just have it overlay on top of colors which is fine I'm just going to fix this up a little bit I'm using the crop tool just to just so it doesn't come over on top of the edge of the other um, side of the box there do the same thing should be okay won't need to readjust too much yeah, it's fine place this over on top and yeah so let's try this example this one will probably make this the printed example. Um, so let's go and get a pattern. Maybe we'll try something less Christmassy. Yep. Yeah. That's kind of cute. <laughs> no. Um, I haven't found anything yet I like. No, that's not even free. That's not bad. Maybe something flu and furl. Yeah, that'll work. So I'll just like place these in. Uh, these automatically get arranged. And snapping back um, the layout over on top. Changing the colors to suit this palette. And you'll notice that um, I've placed in a background. So I'm going to make a duplicate page because I'll make this the um, interior part to the box and just have a slight color. So let's see what we can find here. Um, maybe not a photo, maybe it's more of a gradient. Let's see. Paper didn't work too well. Nope. That just looked half bad. That would probably be a nice interior. Yeah, so we'll, we'll use this. And that's okay. We'll just snap that to the middle center there. Have that ready. And that one. Okay, good to go. So now what I'm going to do is for both these pages, I'll just reference what their numbers are and then I'll download these too only these two um, and I'll download these as PDFs for print um, yeah and you'll notice that you're restricted on the free account so that's okay so we'll just move it back to RGB and have that prepared and we only want the pages that we need so we'll click on those two and then have that get sent off for print So you just wait for it to download. Shouldn't take too long. Great. 
Yeah, you can rename it to whatever you need to, which is fine. Um, I'm just going to rename it to this. So then, it'll go down to the valley, place it into, and then we'll pop it open into file. So just really quickly, I just want to... quickly show you that you can save it as an SVG but um, the thing is it's for a pro account and there are certain other factors um, that are also pro accounts to be aware of so um, but that doesn't mean that there isn't any other way around it there are free programs and softwares so heading on to the folder Let's click into it and then we're going to expand this so then we can see everything. Yep, looks exactly the way how I want it to be, and that's just the background. So let's get the printing started. So there's a couple things that I'm going to be doing personally. I'm going to be making sure that it's the actual size and it um, will print out borderless. I'm going to remove that save toner because I want it to be as rich in color as possible. Uh, click on the borderless. Yep. And then we're going to go through settings here for a second. So I don't need it to bleed past the actual page because it's the perfect size. So I'm going to leave it at the minimum. Uh, check off everything. It's going to be printed on like a matte um, cardstock paper. Okay, everything looks good. I don't need to check off anything else. Okay, so we'll click on that. And then we'll start on printing. So we'll print on the first side first. I only need one. So once it's done printing, I would print down the other side for this. Um, but right now I'm just going to show you the board. I'm going to clean it off real quickly. I'm going to sp speed this process part up. Uh, I didn't record because it's a bit noisy to do. Um, Alternatively, if you were not going to cut it by hand, you can use a silhouette or a Cricut um, or get someone else to do it for you uh, at a print shop. Uh, as long as you have those die lines, it'll be fine. So you can use any scissors you want, it doesn't matter because when you're doing it manually, you're more finessing for yourself. Um, I am just going to be using this exacto knife though, just to make it easier for myself on uh, straight edges that I don't have to cut too close to um, the area, just so that it's faster than having to uh, need the scissors to do this part. And it's neater too as well. quickly trying to cut through but obviously take your time uh, I mean when you use so much ink and it looks as nice as it does right why ruin it carefully cleaning up where I can. Yep. 
is trying not to snap my fingers probably in this part. That circle's a little delicate. If I had a rotary cutter, I probably would have um, used that onto there. Those are the, not a rotary cutter, the small ceramic sort of swivel head exacto knives would be what I would use on that. In hindsight, if this was not really a demo box, I would probably end up making that a whole lot neater, and I know I, I'll try to do it with this exacto knife here, um, but it only it just cleans it up just a touch, not really completely. That's fine. So a thing to note here is that um, you're going to have to pick out how you're going to cut your slits on the main uh, other part of the box. You're either going to cut um, horizontally or vertically. Um, just don't cut off those uh, little tabs there. Just cut the tabs that are one way, horizontally or vertically. I'm going to choose to cut it this way. Um, I'll just see here. Careful cutting. So now we're just going to score this. So actually I'm going to show you two things. Scoring and um, just doing regular folds and you'll be able to see the difference once I find my scoreboard. There it is. I'm just going to speed through the process. Go on camera here. It's best if I can see the lines. And it doesn't really uh, make any bad creases. And that's one of the reasons why I like using the scoreboard for this. You won't really see it. And then I'm going to show you what happens when you uh, don't use the scoreboard and you use regular fold. Kind of have to make those creases. You kind of can't avoid it. Like it's, it's not that bad, but... Um, the way how it folds is a lot different than when you pre-score it and then you fold. Um, the alternative way to doing that is to have it um, like a ruler and a dull end or um, an inkless pen, a pen that's ran out of ink essentially, and score that along. I'm just now just dry fitting it. Make sure it fits nicely. Yes it does. And then I'm gonna start gluing it. Well, uh, more just like uh, running the sticky tape adhesive roller on it. Or, you know, there's Elmer's glue, but I'm going to stick with this little guy. Okay, I'm going to flatten out the box. And I'll just have it arranged so I can press onto it. Gotta flip this. Dismiss the spot, so I'm gonna make sure that that gets sticky. I'm tagged too. That over. There we go. And there is your box. Looks really good. And you, you can even customize it even further by putting someone's name on it, your logo or brand, whatever you like. Um, and you can put in quite a bit of things into it. I was thinking of <laughs> making it as a dice box. Um, 
it makes good for a gift box too. So yeah, that's basically it. That's the whole entire box and what you can do with it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the 3D, um, sorry. <laughs> I hope you enjoy uh, the paper um, box building and that you use the Canva um, the Canva template for it. Tag me in whatever you make.